with 18, we're down to just two. Not many thought it would be the Eagles travelling to Melbourne for the grand final, but it is, and they're taking on the Pies. So much to talk through. Two prelims, Pies devastating on Friday night. The Eagles did a job on the Demons. And I'm going to speak with a couple of coaches and a player. And Brad Scott, I assume for you, welcome to the panel, first of all. Thank you. Feeling a sort of a sense of jealousy watching on. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, very jealous. But I'll tell you what, the, the east coast of Australia are starting to work out that the Eagles are a seriously good side. Uh, question to you, Brad. Free agency players wanted it. They've got it. Uh, do you like it? Can you make it better? I think I like it, but it's unfolding the way a lot of people thought it would in terms of the, the really high-profile free agents that are going to the top clubs. Yep. I mean, I think that's it's not a competitive balance tool. So I think the, the risk is that the good clubs um, are able to bring in free agents and retain all their draft picks. So it's probably not working as, as the AFL intended it to because I think they saw it as a bit of a competitive balance tool, but it certainly hasn't played out that way. As to the solution to that, I don't think there's an easy one. And, and free agency's in, and it's up to clubs to try and exploit it to their best advantage. Brad and Josh, the, the, the bigger goal square, I mean, you're on the competition committee. We all think, yeah, have, kicking the ball from 18 metres out, that might be OK, but we don't want a bigger goal square. Why did they need to do the bigger goal square? Well, I, I think originally the thought was, let's put a dot where the man on the mark stands 18 metres yeah. back. But the problem was in the trials, the players weren't clearing that area, so it wasn't achieving the objective the AFL set out uh, to achieve and, and really there's no penalty for missing now. You're more likely if you miss to score again from the kick in than the opposition is. So I think it's certainly worth trialling. Uh, Lethal Brad, would you, and this is a bit of a leading question because you hear whispers, would you like the in the back rule abolished? Uh, I would and, and I think it, it certainly has been uh, floated that a push will go back to what it always was which is you can't push in the back but hands in the back if, as long as it's not a push is allowed and you know I think that's a mark to Dustin Martin and my view is next year that'll be paid as a mark. And Lee, a question for you, do you think it's okay for coaches to tell players when they should have been? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Explain Absolutely. that a little Brad. Well f famously after Daniel Bradshaw missed the preliminary final, Lee came in one pre-season and said no unprotected sex during January. <laughs> we, can, we can't have players missing preliminary yeah. finals due to uh, their wives giving birth. So. And December for that matter, because you can never get the time. <laughs> Brad, Brad and the players thought I was joking. Brad, I was deadly serious. Yeah, oh, well, I think I was the only one who laughed. And then I looked at you and thought, he's serious. <laughs> Finish this sentence, Josh. If interchange cap is reduced, it will... Make pre-season running even harder, which is quite difficult for me as it is, because I'm 105 kilos. OK. Uh, if runners removed from the game, it will? Uh, benefit teams with a lot of experienced players. OK. Rule changes have the ability to? Make an already great game even greater. Jared Pollock, Aaron Hall and Nick Newman, who's going to be roaming around half-back. If they all just wanted to wear blue and white next year and be at Arden Street, can you fit all three in? Well, I think you can always fit good players in. Um, but, you know, if, I think if every player that was talked about that's coming to North Melbourne, we're going to need to increase our salary cap somewhat because it's nice that people are linking us with a lot of players, but there's a lot of work to do just yet. Might as well add Andrew Gaff to the uh, question. <laughs> fit him yep. in as well? I think, most, I think there's 17 Find other clubs that could fit him in somewhere. <laughs>